For this Paint 3D video, I'm going to show you how to insert some more 3D objects, how to group them together and copy and paste, and then we'll be inserting some 3D text. And the last thing we'll experiment with is the Effects tab. Now, I'd like to make a different size canvas, so I'm going to go up here to Canvas, and I'm just going to make this more like a square. Uh, if you'd like to resize it this way, you can. Uh, we're going to make a birthday card. So on the birthday card, we need a cake. So let's go to 3D Shapes. And we're going to make a chocolate cake. So turn on some sort of bowl uh, brown and then choose uh, some type of finish and we're going to use the cylinder and just make a little cake and then rotate it just a tiny bit because we're going to put a candle on top so go back to 3D shapes and let's put a pink candle and again, we're going to use a cylinder, but we're going to make it a little bit smaller. So just off to the side, you're going to make a candle. And I need to, to zoom in a little bit more here. Uh, the next thing we're going to put is a flame. So under 3D shapes, go down to scroll down until you get to the soft doodle and we want a yellow flame so just start here on your candle and make a flame pull this down Oh, you can always use your arrow keys because sometimes uh, it's kind of hard to move these things around. Uh, we want to group these together so click on your select and you once you click one you're gonna see this come up and then click multi-select Now, if you have a hard time selecting, it's there's things that are getting in the way. You can always just click your select and draw a box around it and tell it to group. And that'll do the same thing. Now, I'm going to put this candle right on top of my birthday cake. And then I want to uh, go to my 3D view to see. And look, it's right there in the middle of the cake. So all is good. And then you always have to click this to get back out of it. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is put some text. If you do a 2D text, it's going to be um, part of the canvas. But if you do 3D text, it will do, be 3D and it will pull uh, outside of the canvas. So choose some sort of nice font, uh, something fairly large, bold. And choose color and then just click and type. Maybe we should type happy birthday. And then just click outside of it and it'll snap on there and you can make it about the size that you want. And if you rotate it a little bit you can make it make the text a little bit wider if you like. And then you can put this wherever on the plane that you would like. Now the last thing I want to show you is um, what the effects tab does. 
So if you click your effects, this is going to affect the whole canvas. And if you start clicking on this, it will change all different things here. And whatever color you choose, so if I choose this one, I can go down to my light wheel and it will affect some different lighting on here. And depending on what color it is, it will affect different parts of it. So you notice here it would it affects the light down on my cake. So it does all kinds of uh, different things and you just click around and see the one you want. And get the light wheel the way you want. And then you're ready to go.